my friend Trey Radcliffe is doing something crazy with Peak Design and he invited me along to kind of uh, get a sneak peek and share with you guys what they're up to. So I'm here in San Francisco heading to the Peak Design headquarters to see what they have going on. It better be impressive because it takes a lot to get me out to Twip Studios. Alright guys, let's take a look. How you doing, man? I'm good. What do you got going on in here? Messing up a shot. You're always smooth <laughs> as silk. You're you're so smooth. You are so smooth. Can I say how smooth you are, Fred? How smooth am I, Fred? You're practically frictionless. So what are we going to look at here? What's going on? Well, or can you tell me before we get in? For the last year, I've been secretly working on something oh. um, here in San Francisco with probably the best design team in the world. You know, what could Peak Design be doing beyond yet another strap? What else wearing. could they be doing? I That's don't know. a big question. I don't Go know. inside and uh, I'll open up the kimono and you can see. <laughs> see this. Come on in. Come on in. Peak Design. Peak design. Cool logo. Yeah. All okay. Right. So, you want me to jump right into it and show you what we've done? I'll say hello, Peak Design. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Trey is going to reveal whatever you guys, you guys have going on here. So what do you got, Trey? Okay, so check it out. I'll tell you a little story. Okay, yeah. so I w spent uh, a month in Africa last year, and I hated my camera bag. So frustrating. I thought, you know what? I really want to design my own camera bag. Yeah. Um, I actually don't know that much about designing my own camera bag, but I had a few ideas. But I knew these guys. I knew Peak Design. So I called them up and said, do you guys want to make a bag together? And much to my surprise, they said, totally, let's do it. And so, you know, we pretty much spent a big chunk of this year working on this thing together. Um, here in San Francisco, uh, we've been going over to Vietnam. Uh, we've been testing so many different iterations of the bag. And um, now it's a real thing. Now it's a real, yeah. real bag. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I'll show it to you. Yeah, let's okay. see. That's so, it. This is it. I'll show you. I'll start out with my favorite features of the bag. Okay. Um, you know, one of their uh, previous Kickstarters was their slide mechanism, all right? Which basically now is the, the strap for this. So it slides around effortlessly. If you want to adjust it, they've got this genius system. There's no dangly bits. You just slide and buckle it up. Fantastic. Yeah. So that's integrated with the whole system. Now, they have made, um, this is one of their other great products, all right? This yeah. is called Capture, another like, huge Kickstarter success. All their stuff they do on Kickstarter is a huge success. So you can put it right here, and you can very easily keep your camera out on the outside of your back. All right, it's always there. In fact, I keep it there a hundred percent of the time, and it's kind of a unique idea that you don't actually have to put your camera in your back. A, it's super convenient to pop out and take photos. B, it doesn't take up any room in your bag because it's not in there, so you got more room for other stuff. All right, so that's super awesome. Yep. Um, Another genius feature of this thing is this thing, all right? This is a, a special latch system. In fact, it's so new, it's uh, patent pending. So you, with one hand, you can pop it open and you have total access to the middle of your bag. It's absolutely incredible. It also pulls latches and locks in. There's a magnet system, totally secure. So you can do this blindly. You just flip it up, total access into here. Many, depending on how big your bag is, you can choose different ladder spots. Um, fantastic. Um, inside, Hello. 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 Uh, inside is uh, another genius little system. Um, so let me say, a problem with most camera bags is that they have this sort of square-based foam system, right? Yeah. And you're always putting round things into the square holes, which is kind of ridiculous. There's a ton of just negative, unused space. Yeah. So what, uh, what Art and, and the whole team and everyone did together was came up with this system. Um, Art, would you grab that other one for me, the, the newer one over there? So um, you can build this into any shape that you want to to fit your equipment. Um, it's totally genius. You can fold it over. Um, here's, a, here's a good example here. Sure, so, so here it is in sort of set up for tall gear, uh, real big pro gear here. So plenty of room and height wise to keep things from bumping into each other. And then uh, they, everything can be folded over and it stays because it's got this nice tessellated sort of pattern for smaller gear, for micro four thirds or more kind of uh, prosumer can you level unfold, DSLRs. Can unfold that again? I yeah, absolutely. That. So you just pop it open like that. Yeah. So very quickly adaptable. And then they, you can 
change right, yeah. the orientation. So then there's a third setup where everything folds down like so, and then everything's more or less enclosed, and uh, you can you know stack things on top of it, yeah. and nothing's going to get banged up. And uh, all of that is expandable. So um, in all three scenarios, um, because it has all this articulation built in. When your bag is empty, it really can compress down to not much, and then can expand huge to yeah, accommodate some serious gear. Yeah. So that's that's fun, and that really allows the bag to be compressed down to uh, you know not much bigger than you know like a laptop bag almost. Yeah. And then really be kind of overstuffed when you're carrying critical mass, and uh, the bag almost doubles in size. And that's all done in a really intuitive. You don't have to think about anything. It's just depending on where you set this. There's nothing to, you know, relief zippers or anything like that on the sides. So, yep. Yeah. So what was what was Trey's Trey? What was your involvement in this thing? So, did like is this? Did you sit down with a paper napkin and sketch this out and send it to them and they made it? <laughs> or <laughs> no, we just had countless uh, design discussions on um, Skype and Google Hangouts. Uh, came here a lot to work on early designs, early early iterations for these guys. Yeah. Um, he art is uh, you know really the brains behind all the different material selection we wanted to be like you know, water resistant and feel soft and there's a huge amount of work that goes into building a bag. I had no idea, um, uh, but I've learned a lot in the last year and uh, yeah, these guys have been amazing. I love it. Yeah. So, so art. This bag, first of all, I love it. Looks looks awesome. I want cool, one. Great. Uh, let's let's work from the back. So when sure. when can I get it? First of all, and then I'm going to ask you a bunch of leading questions up to that. So we're we're uh, we're going to be doing a Kickstarter to to launch and really get the word out and really drum up some support for this project. It's been, uh, it, and I, I think we're shooting for an end of July Kickstarter uh, date and uh, fulfillment tentatively uh, sometime in the fall awesome. and uh, fall winter. We'll see, um, but. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a massive project, and uh, the reason we're doing Kickstarter for it, I guess, is because generally when uh, people make a bag, there's a lot of, uh, there's not so much R&D. They'll do a napkin sketch for, you know, the form factor they want it to take and where the pockets are and all that and yep. pick some colors, and uh, we've really designed, you know, ground up, you know, patent pending mechanisms that do things that nothing else does out there. Yeah. And, uh, so and that's taken a lot of time and costs a lot more money than <laughs> generally a, a normal soft goods project. And which, which is good because this thing is going to be, if it goes right, this will be my bag for a long, long time. That's the right? idea. We really wanted to create, all, all of the products that Peak Design do have a uh, lifetime warranty. Yeah. So we really wanted to make a bag that is not only a versatile bag and, you know, is there with you on a day-to-day -day basis, but also sticks around for a long time. So everything on it is, you know, there's very little plastic hardware. It's almost all entirely an, uh, aluminum hardware with you know either an anodized finish or uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of a raw sandblast finish, and uh, so everything's kind of built to last. Right. So, so what the other the other in question is how much is this thing going to cost me? Well, that's kind of. In the, in the works right I now. Cut them off guard. Check, check, the kick, check the Kickstarter page. Yeah, yeah. I, there'll be a lot of details on that to come. Okay. But uh, not 500 though. Not 500. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. No, good. not even close. Because yeah, the old photographers are poor. So I mean, we, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All those fancy lenses. Okay. Oh, look at these other iterations over here. Yeah, let's look at this. Where's this? Yeah, cool. yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, so, maybe you know, we we started with uh, very kind of soft messengery bags that were uh, we kind of had like this. Uh, uh, origami kind of system that would flex and grow and there's stuff that we liked in here and then we try, started trying different materials I mean he was going nuts with all this stuff different kinds of handles and fixtures and different color combinations by the way this is the black one there's going to be another color set all right cool um, so check the Kickstarter page for that um, started coming up with different latch systems uh, because really one problem with the earlier ones is it required um, like two hands to open it, it mm -hmm. took too long to get into the bag, yeah. um, and we weren't really sure what to do um, until like this idea was happened upon, and this just changes everything. It's fantastic. Yeah. And um, that's patent pending, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, and one other cool thing that, that we came up with kind of at the end is sort of one of my X Factor features I like so much is we have this area here called like, it's a command center. Yeah. Okay, so you have access to everything. There's very subtle little touches, like the green stitching here indicates fresh batteries, uh, fresh memory cards. Red is like used batteries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just a very nice uh, workflow. 
Um, and of course it works, you know, people, I think people's normal question is this for like little mirrorless cameras, like you carry a tray or what? It fits both, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, and, and everything in between, so, yeah. So, so are, what, what are some of the learnings that you guys have taken? Because you, you guys have been, you started with the, with the, with this guy, right? The, the attachment yeah, the, strap. Yeah, the, the, the capture camera. The capture, yeah. yeah. Yep. So what kind of learnings did you take away from this manufacturing process that, that led to the bag? Right. Well, Peak Design has been a, based on the, the capture camera clip as our first product, so we're very much a hard, a hard goods company. We're trying to find innovative hardware solutions to, you know, photography problems. And uh, part of the beauty of capture is that it fits on any bag. But uh, we've been wanting, you know, we're all big bag nerds and we really, we have a ton of different camera bags and, you know, we've, n we've always had the same issues, the adaptability, expandability, um, something that does, isn't too flashy and can fit into a lot of different workflow situations, whether you're in the outdoors or traveling or doing events. And uh, so we've always kind of wanted to build a bag. And in order to make this project happen, it's been quite a learning curve between doing more engineer-centric hard goods versus more kind of dark arts, soft goods. Is a, it's a completely different game. So. Yeah. But uh, I think we've really taken our own approach on it and really kind of brought the best of what makes Peak Design products into this bag. And hopefully it'll uh, be different than what everyone I think else it, I, I think it'll be successful. So OK, here, last question here. Um, one of the last questions. So, one of my favorite Peak Design products is this strap that you guys can't see on camera, but right. it's uh, what's this strap that I have? That's the, the uh, it's called the slide, and that's uh, this camera strap here, and it uses our uh, anchor link mechanism. So this is a tripod plate here, and then uh, you just push that guy down, and it pops right out. Yep, super easy, and uh, it uses this great um, adjustment mechanism. So you pull this little aluminum handle up, and you can go from long. To, uh, to short very quickly. And uh, so we worked really hard on to make the best strap in the world, we think. And uh, so what we've tried to do is integrate um, the, what we've learned from that into the strap on this bag. So most bag companies, they kind of phone it in and they'll just do a webbing with a little floating pad or something like that. Yep. This is eight millimeter EVA inside of tubular webbing. So there's no seams or anything. The entire inside of the strap is perfectly smooth. So it really flows around your body and is very comfortable. And then it has that adjustment mechanism so you can go from short to long very quickly. I love quickly. that. That is, yeah. that is crazy. Then we've got this sort of adjustment hook system here so that you can, right now I'm in sort of messenger bag mode, if you will, where there's padding that goes all the way down to the bag so that when I'm carrying the bag sort of in a messenger bag style, yep. I have padding on my shoulder. Yep. And then can be adjusted into more of a standard shoulder bag setup where now the padding is here for when I'm kind of rocking it like that. So, yeah. So yeah. You, you gave this a little thought, I think. A little bit, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of thought that went into this. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, that is really cool. It's been okay. Our baby, for so, sure. so anything else? What else? What else about this guy that you want to? Um, yeah, I mean, we've got so some the, really other the, nice details. These are all water resistant uh, zippers on top. We've got a separate laptop um, access pocket with a hanging iPad sleeve. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to keep this sort of iPad and digitalia separate from the photo gear so that they're not kind of fighting for space and uh, you know, I've hold. never heard that word digitalia yeah, before. Well, it makes makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just a word we've talked about. Uh, and then uh, we do have a sort of a quick access zipper on top so um, if you're in a tight space that's kind of the situation I always think of if you're in like a crowded bus or something and you want to get your camera out you don't have to it takes a lot less space and is really just quick to do a one zip grab your camera and uh, kind of Love it. Get and this thing is done. this thing is water resistant, so, so I can yeah, take it we, in the rain and it's right. Good. So this is all. Um, it's a waxed co uh, 500D Kodra, so it's very very abrasion resistant material, and uh, it does bead water super nicely. And uh, uh, it has a water resistant and a wax coating, so it's uh, yeah, it's definitely up to the challenge. Very cool. Congratulations, man, Trey. Both of you guys, all you guys at Peak Design. It looks like this is going to be. Insane, and you know, I, I talked to you guys a while back. Um, I think at one of the trade shows, I stopped by, and I think one of the cool things about Peak Design is your corporate philosophy of launching using Kickstarters. Right. And yeah. you're you're doing it again with this guy, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we, I mean, we've really tried to maintain our independence and not be sort of, um, you know, limited by venture funding or anything like that in order mm -hmm. to get our future products on the ground. So we've turned to crowdsourcing. To and you know, for our, built our 
community of users and uh, listen to them and products that they wanted to see from us. We do surveys all the time to get direct user feedback on the products we make and future products that our community wants to see. And uh, it's great because it's every project sort of bankrolls the next project, if you will. So yeah. it's very much a sort of grassroots community. Rolling thunder. Kind of, yeah. 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 Rolling yeah. accretion. Yeah. 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 So, okay, last question. What's next for you guys? After this goes out and you guys make $12 billion on these bags, then, then, then what? You buy an island or what? Uh, I'm shit. I'm, <laughs> it, the rolling thunder will continue, hopefully, and then we'll be able to develop all of our, uh, spend all our R and D time on, you know, the next great thing that Peak Design tries to tries to solve. So I mean, that's the goal: is to try and kind of reinvent the way that we kind of carry our gear around and hopefully make our lives a little bit easier. Look, if you got, if you want to meet these guys or test out the bags, uh, we're actually doing something super unique. Like I've never done this before, actually, Fred. Um, starting in August, um, we're starting in. Uh, New York City. We actually rented a huge like rock star bus. It sleeps like 12 people. And we're going to hit 12 of the biggest cities in the United States and do photo walks. These are free events at all these places. So we're going to do um, New York, Philadelphia, DC, Chicago, Nashville, Miami, Dallas, Houston, Phoenix, uh, blah, 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 LA, Burning Man, and then ending in San Francisco. Nice. And the, the San Francisco thing is going to be like on the last day of the Kickstarter. It'll be a mega party. So we'll have these uh, these bags out there with us. People can play with them. Um, just join us anywhere. Your your crowd is totally welcome. Plus, we'll have a, a super fun photo walk and talk photography full of tips. It's just going to be a grand celebration. Photography. That's going to be killer. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be killer. All right. Where's, what's the URL that people should go to to uh, check all this stuff out? Just peakdesign.com? Yeah, peakdesign.com is a great space to do it. Um, signing up for our newsletter definitely will be on the cutting edge of uh, what, what's new with Peak Design and keep updated on Kickstarter. And you got to find out about the photo walk, just go to stuckincustoms.com and just click on photo walks. Um, the exact schedule will be there when we get to each city, each city, meeting place, all that kind of stuff. So we'll have all the deets up there. Awesome. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Make sure you check out their Kickstarter campaign. By the time you see this video, it should be in full swing. And uh, I'm going to support it and get one of those bags for myself, maybe two of those bags. But uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.